Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our Snack for the Journey, and this week we are in the book of Joel, a beautiful book, a very important book, and today we're going to see a very interesting and very important book that is mentioned, is a prophecy that is, it was fulfilled in the New Testament. We already shared that in a, another time with you, so we're not going to go there, but uh, I'm going to share the, the, the other verse that comes right after that, that is very important. And before I do that, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and families and help us to bless other people. Verse for today, chapter 2, verse 32. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on mountain, Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the survivors whom the Lord calls whom the Lord calls. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Here, it's, it's right after that prophecy about the Holy Spirit. If you, if you read a few verses before that, the, 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 the Joe is prophesying the coming of the Holy Spirit. And this is the prophecy that Peter mentioned in the Pentecost day. And say, hey, the prophet said this, and, that, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then he mentioned the prophecy. But the prophecy continues not only with the presence of the Holy Spirit, the coming of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, but the consequences of the coming of the Holy Spirit is that everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. Will be saved. The Lord is coming, and He is coming. He is here. The Holy Spirit is here. And now salvation is available for those who call on the name of the Lord. Those who call on the name of the Lord. And Paul will repeat that there, too, in one of his letters. Those who call in the name on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's not just kind of in the, in the middle of a problem. It's, oh Lord, no, it's, it's not that. It's, 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 it, it involves a commitment with the Lord. It's in, it involves a surrender your life to the Lord, to call Him, to be your Lord, to, to, to n bring His name upon you and to serve Him and to surrender to, 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 to surrender your life to Him. That is, uh, it, it, it's called the name of the Lord. It's, it's not just to say His name when you have a pro Oh, Jesus Christ, it's not that. Oh my God, no, it's not that. It's more than that. It means that He is your God. He is your Lord the owner of your life. You surrender your life to, and this is possible because of the presence of the Holy Spirit with us and the work of the Holy Spirit in us. This is why this verse here is possible for you and for me. It's because the Holy Spirit came and now we can call on the name of the Lord and we will be saved. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.